writing equivalent quotients of integers. Let's review our rules for dividing integers. A positive divided by a positive equals a positive. A positive divided by a negative equals a negative. A negative divided by a positive equals a negative. And a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. Let's also recall that all fractions represent division. A over B is the same as A divided by B. Our numerator A is our dividend, and our denominator B is our divisor. Are the following quotients equivalent? Let's evaluate each of these expressions to find out. So we're going to start on the left. We can rewrite this as negative, open parenthesis, 18 divided by 4, close parenthesis. We're going to evaluate what's in the parentheses first. So 18 divided by 4 is 4.5, and we bring down the negative sign. That is the same as negative 4.5. Let's move on to the second expression. We can rewrite negative 18 over 4 as negative 18 divided by 4. Since we have one negative number, one positive number, our quotient is going to be negative, negative 4.5. So these two are equivalent. Now let's take a look at 18 over negative 4. We can rewrite this as 18 divided by negative 4. 18 divided by negative 4 equals negative 4.5. Yes, each expression is equivalent to negative 4.5. Let's generalize what we just learned. The value of negative parentheses p over q is equivalent to negative p over q and p over negative q. p is our numerator, q is our denominator. Which of the following are equivalent to negative 7? Let's start at the left. Negative 49 over negative 7 can be rewritten as negative 49 divided by negative 7. That equals a positive 7. So no, it's not equivalent to negative 7. 0 over negative 7. That can be rewritten as 0 divided by negative 7. That equals 0. So that one is not equal to negative 7 either. 49 over negative 7. That can be rewritten as 49 divided by negative 7. That equals negative 7. So we can give that a check. Negative 21 over 3 can be rewritten as negative 21 divided by 3. That equals negative 7, so we can give that one a check as well. 21 over 3, that can be rewritten as 21 divided by 3. That equals positive 7, so we're going to cross that one out. Which of the following are equivalent to negative 5? Let's start at the left. We've got negative parentheses 55 over 11. We can rewrite that as negative parentheses 55 divided by 11. Inside the parentheses, 55 divided by 11 is positive 5. We bring down the negative, and our answer is negative 5. So we can give this a check. Now we've got one that looks a little crazy, but we can work this one out. We're going to rewrite this as negative parentheses negative 55 divided by negative 11. Let's look inside the parentheses. We have negative 55 divided by negative 11. That's going to give us a positive 5. And then we'll bring down that negative sign that's outside of the parentheses. That equals negative 5. We can give this a check. Negative 55 over 11 can be rewritten as negative 55 divided by 11. We have one negative and one positive, so our quotient is going to be negative. That equals negative 5. This one gets a check too. Now we have negative 55 over negative 11. We can rewrite this as negative 55 divided by negative 11. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So this equals positive 5. This one we're going to cross out. 55 over negative 11. That can be rewritten as 55 divided by negative 11. A positive divided by a negative is a negative, so our answer is negative 5. This one we can give a check as well. Which of the following quotients are equivalent to 2.5? Let's start at the left. 10 over negative 4. We can rewrite this 
as 10 divided by negative 4. A positive divided by negative is a negative. That will give us negative 2.5. So that one is not equivalent. 10 over 4. We can rewrite this as 10 divided by 4. A positive divided by a positive is a positive. So our answer is positive 2.5. We can give this a check. Negative 10 over negative 4. That can be rewritten as negative 10 divided by negative 4. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So our answer is positive 2.5. We can give this a check as well. Negative 5 over negative 2. We can rewrite this as negative 5 divided by negative 2. A negative divided by negative is a positive. Our answer is 2.5. So we can give this a check. Lastly, we have negative 5 over 2. We can rewrite this as negative 5 divided by 2. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So this answer is negative 2.5. And we're going to cross this one out. Which of the following quotients are equivalent to negative parentheses 48 over 17? Well, I know I can rewrite that as negative parentheses 48 divided by 17. Let's solve this one without evaluating the expression. Just looking at it, we can tell that our quotient is going to be negative. We can also tell that our quotient is going to be larger than one. That's because 48 is larger than 17. With those two in mind, let's see which ones are equivalent. Let's look all the way at the left, negative 17 over negative 48. We can rewrite this as negative 17 divided by negative 48. I have a negative divided by a negative, so my quotient is going to be positive. We already know that it's not going to be equivalent. So let's cross that out. 48 over 17. We can rewrite this as 48 divided by 17. Well, I see a positive divided by a positive. That will give us a positive quotient, and we need a negative one. So I'm going to cross this one out as well. 48 over negative 17. We can rewrite this as 48 divided by negative 17. Well, it looks very similar to the expression in the question. We have a positive divided by a negative. We know that our answer is going to be negative. We also see we're dividing the same numbers, so we can give this one a check. Negative 48 over 17. We can rewrite this as negative 48 divided by 17. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. We also have the numbers in the same order, 48 divided by 17. So we can give this one a check. Let's look at our last option, negative 2 and 14 17 First, let's convert this to an improper fraction. 17 times 2 plus 14 is 48. And let's bring that negative sign down. Keep our denominator of 17. We can rewrite this as negative 48 divided by 17. Again, it's the same numbers that we're dividing in the same order. And we have a negative divided by a positive, which will give us a negative. This will be equivalent as well. Let's review what we've learned about writing equivalent quotients of integers. The value of negative parentheses p over q is equivalent to negative p over q and p over negative q. p is our numerator and q is our denominator.